Oh, God. Oh, it ears it. Oh, God. No. Oh, I overslept. Oh, my God. Am I too late? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Maybe. Hey there. My name's Rock and Roll. Thanks for stopping in. So, I just wanted to give you a brief table of contents. This is the future me. Um, since this is a longer video than I typically make, I just wanted to let you know what's inside of it. So, I rant about the Sonic movie design and one fan art Sonic redesign for maybe 10 minutes. And then I create five different sketches of Sonic, color two of them. Three of those sketches are designs that I created. And then I talk about hedgehog nipples. Um, uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hey there, my name's Rock and Roll. Thanks for stopping in. So we have a lot more to talk about than I thought we did. I was originally just going to talk about the Sonic on the left, the original, but then this new fan redesign of Sonic came out by a man named Demir Martin. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but um, while technically very good and obviously well thought out, many people have thought this is a meme. Uh, it's not a meme. This is a very thought, well thought out attempt at redesigning Sonic. But many people have said that this is in fact worse than the original. And I do agree with those people. Even though it is on another level almost with its rendering and like actual model quality, the design itself suffers from some issues. So I'm gonna talk about those issues today of the original and of this one, then I'm gonna try to make my own redesign. I think while I understand the principles of what make it wrong, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put them to 100% use to make a perfect Sonic redesign. You know, at this point, what redesign would everyone be satisfied with, honestly? Um, I wouldn't be satisfied if they reverted to old classic Sonic for the movie, but I think that's what they're gonna get scared into doing, probably. And by they, I mean the Paramount Studios who are making the movie. Whew! So, okay, let me go to a full body here. Um, I've- I just screenshotted this from the mm, trailer, and this is the full render of the other fan-made Sonic. So, a lot of people believe that, or at least at first glance, people think maybe it's a joke, but, um, it is not a joke. This man has carefully thought out all of the design choices. He has also explained them in the description of his DeviantArt post, which I will link in the description so you can read it yourself. I'm not gonna recite it, but yeah. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, what makes this version incorrect for Sonic are the same reasons that this version is incorrect for Sonic, along with some other traits. And I think, I think the main reason, and there are a lot of sub-issues, or like sub-facets to this, is that it's too humanoid. Both of them are too humanoid. But there are different reasons for this one as well. I'm gonna go back to the close-up, so... <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna run down really quickly. This is some of what I've heard I've agreed with, and I'm gonna elaborate it, elaborate on it because I believe pretty strongly in this. Here you see that Sonic's teeth in this iconic shot are very human-like. His face is rather human-like. The eyelashes. They also attempted to make him animalistic with the snout. And his body looks like a little human, which is really terrifying. So, um, it's pretty uncanny. I can't even begin to imagine what this would look like at a profile view. And meanwhile, this does not even resemble a hedgehog. They kept the humanistic qualities, but made it look more like a, a cheetah, like a big cat. Nose-wise, the nose is flat. It looks like a Navi from Avatar, almost. And the ears, yeah, no. So let me just bring it back to reality for a sec. This is what a hedgehog looks like. This is what we have gotten. <laughs> While this one clearly made an attempt to give the nose, this one seemed to, you know, eschew that entirely. So, um, I want to say that my intention here is not to belittle this man's work. His work is absolutely phenomenal. It's above my skill level, but I think I'm able to recognize why this went wrong and why it has become, uh, a, uh, But now, the second reason, I talked about two reasons that these are bad. Again, main reason, too humanoid, but also 
neither of them really look like Sonic. So I wanted to pull up this chart. One of my friends sent it to me. I'm not sure where they found it, but um, this is the full chart of Sonic throughout the years. And I'm gonna be trying to use that to my advantage as a performer redesign. I think there's just an inherent issue in trying to bring a photorealistic Sonic to life. You know, look at this man. A cartoony Sonic doesn't really belong in the real world, but neither does a photorealistic Sonic. It's gonna be a hard balance for them to find. The Pokemon movie, I think they really walked the line between that as well. I actually haven't even seen the Pokemon movie. I've just seen pictures of the Pokemon they've shown. They're really walking the line on what looks creepy and what looks cute in this CGI realistic style, so um, I personally cannot perform a CGI realistic style, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> so when I'm doing my redesign, I'm blah, blah, blah. so hold up. I'm gonna start by doing some pl preliminary sketches. Oh, actually, you know, this is, I, I actually, I wanna bring this up really quick. This was almost a response video to Draw With Jazz's attempt at redesigning Sonic. This is what his video inspired it, so. I'm gonna recommend you watch that video as well, um, if you'd like, anyway. His, he was messing around the whole time, mostly. He did one serious version, but um, the serious version he did was this big, beefy, grungy Sonic, which brings up another issue, I think. You know, it's not paying homage to Sonic at all, really. I mean, yeah, it looks like Sonic, but it doesn't, you know? It's such a hard, very fine line to walk. I'm gonna try to walk it today. I'm a fan of Jazza for a long time, but I disagreed with his rendition of it and I wanted to try my own, that's all. All right, now that I'm back, I also have another comment to make. One of my main problems with these two redesigns is that while they tried to be more human, they neglected to give him eyebrows. That's probably another thing that really would have helped. So let's, let's just try, let's try something real quick. Did that help? <laughs> Did I save the day? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I don't think it did. So when Sonic, okay, okay. The Sonic style, they have succeeded in creating an exceptionally iconic style. You recognize it the minute you see it. His eyes, you know, they look like this they look like glasses, but he doesn't have eyebrows, but essentially they do have eyebrows because they can move their face over their eyes like that and instantly it's like they are, they, they function as eyebrows, but when you take that away, he doesn't really have anything that resembles an eyebrow, so that is also extremely off-putting. So, you know, I'm just gonna do some sketches. I'm gonna see I'm gonna play around, see how it feels. Yeah, I'll get started. You know, I don't think I've ever drawn Sonic in my life. So I'm gonna try out a couple things. I got a question though. What do you think this is? Like, why? Why Sonic got skin, you know? Well, okay, I guess they are skinny here on their face, but trying to be realistic with it doesn't look good, so. I don't know. Oh yeah, they tried to make this fur, even though I assume this is meant to be skin to replicate the hedgehog thing that we just saw. This one is true about that. Yeah, I'm drawing it as though I received a commission to draw this character right now. Another thing, just, you know, I'm just thinking about it as I'm drawing. Um, I think both of these designs really fail to capture his personality, which, you know, can be summarized in these poses. You know, the, no, uh, uh, I'm Sonic, I am sassy and energetic. And I think part of it is the eyebrows, you know, he, he, without eyebrows, it's a little hard to convey emotion. I feel like Sonic's entire life can be described in one raised eyebrow, which they cannot add to their design. <laughs> Hands out his hips. I can tell already, this is insanely difficult. It's just, the Sonic style is so dang iconic. When you try to put him in any other style, it's gonna look really funky. So it's, I don't know. It might just be a lose-lose battle. 
Again, I'm gonna try to win the battle, but I don't know. I shouldn't be trying to get fancy with the pose, but I, I am. I like the pose and I like the hand for shortening things, but considering this is a reference, I'm gonna remove it. All right, so I took a little break just now and I, I had a discussion about this with my sister who's a sonic professional. She will be reviewing my uh, attempts in a bit, but um, I, I touched on this earlier, but yeah, I don't think I hit it very hard, so I'm gonna do it again. Sonic has managed to create, well, Archie Comics or whoever the heck even owns Sonic at this point, I don't actually know. The Sonic style is extremely iconic with you know, um, the big eyes and, you know, the noodle arms and noodle legs. It's managed to become its own really, really recognizable style, and that's how Sonic's been drawn forever. So when you try to take him out of it, it's gonna look funky no matter what you do, basically. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to say that, and also, they shouldn't be trying to take him out of it, basically, is what I'm saying. In my opinion, I think the movie should be animated, completely animated that is, and had it take place completely in the Sonic universe. So you would also be able to see the the other characters Sonic super fans would know and love. Anyway, back to my original point with it, it's just that Sonic's gonna look a little funky if you take him out of that style. And since you've developed such an iconic style, you may as well try to use it. And if you're gonna take him out of that super iconic style, you have to do it right, which they did not. Man, I just cannot draw a thumbs up today. <laughs> Bro, he's giving a thumbs up right here. Why don't I use a reference? Jeez. You know what? I don't even need- Look, this is literally a reference. I said this already. I don't need to get fancy at the pose at all. He can just A pose. Superior to the T pose. Change my mind. <laughs> so, what we essentially have here- Well, this is- this is- again, this is my version. Um, what we have basically is a Sonic with this with a different face as the movie Sonic, but pretty much the same anatomy. Yeah. So what I've added, um, I've added a little more personality to his hair. It spikes up a bit over here and right here. Um, I would do this with any of my art. So I think I've decided that my plan is I'm going to do three different sketches of different types of Sonic designs and I'm gonna bring in my sister, who is a Sonic expert. Um, I trust her opinion quite a bit. She will be, I think she'll probably be the best judge that I know. I will ask her which one she prefers for what reason, and then I will choose one of the sketches and finish it out. The next version I would do would probably be, let's see, I don't know, I think I'd probably do one that's more animalistic, and then one that's more human-like, and we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I guess we'll do the same pose, too.
Guys, I just had the cutest idea to put Sonic in shorts and suspenders. Maybe that's unrelated to this challenge, but if that isn't the cutest thing, I don't know what is. I might do a bonus Sonic in an Animal Crossing style, wearing shorts and suspenders. I think that deserves to be in the movie, please. I'm sorry, I'm playing Animal Crossing right now. Add me, I need friends. Call the number flashing on your screen now. I have to say, I don't think I'm gonna be crazy about this one. I don't know, it just, you know, it just feels so wrong changing Sonic at all. I can see why it's difficult for people to make a design that's likable. Oh yeah, so I'm also making a point in this one to not make Sonic digitigrade. Basically, humans, dogs meanwhile, the difference between the two, the human leg to be drawn more funkily, looks like that. Meanwhile, the dog leg, now they might look somewhat similar, but the difference is that the ankle slash heel of the human has been moved up here and elongated so that's you know furries will look <laughs> wait yep <laughs> so i'm trying to make sure sonic isn't digitigrade that is a cu couple reasons for that um w one of them being that he wouldn't be digitigrade in the Sonic movie. And he has never been digitigrade, so there's no reason to start now. He looks like his name should be Dito, and that he should be Italian. That's how I feel about any kind of stocky short guy, though. It's kind of like if you shorten Danny DeVito, Dito. Now, I think the difference so far between this one and the other ones is that I'd let this one consume my soul. All right, that's fine for now. So reiterating again, I'm doing three versions, maybe four, because I like the Sonic Animal Crossing idea. Okay, but look at this. I would give Dito all of my money. Okay, animal version of Sonic. Uh, like I was saying, these are really rough, but I will flesh out the one that is chosen, so. Okay, on to the next one, which is uh, more human-like. And, you know, I've been criticizing the human-like ones, but by human-like, I mean I'm gonna try to not do a snout like the original Sonic. The original Sonic implies a snout by giving him a really long nose, but he actually has a very circular round face. So I'm gonna see if I can chase that feeling. I don't know how it'll look, but we'll go for it. <laughs> I felt like it was necessary to do a profile for this particular one because of my comments earlier on how I couldn't even fathom what this would look like at a profile. So I figured I would have the decency to, to if I try something equally as ridiculous, to let it, you know, have a profile. You have to forgive the fact that uh, he's facing more forward in this one than the other ones, I think. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm struggling with the uh, hair right now. It's because I kind of goofed up by making him face too far forward. All right, so this is definitely the most traditional one that I have so far, but I think it brings a little bit of a twist to it in that it keeps the nose thing but it's a little more realistic. Okay, I did it. He's beautiful. This should be in the movie. All right, I'm gonna put these together now and then get an opinion. Here are my versions of Sonic. Okay, first version is my version. The second version is the animalistic version. The third one is like more human, but leaning towards the old cartoony style version. And the fourth one is 
Dito. We've named him Dito. It is not short for Danny DeVito, but it is, you know, it's <laughs> sort of synonymous. I just drew shorts on this guy. Actually, I saved it, I think. Thoughts. So why is his face shaped weird like that? It's Animal Crossing style, Sonic. Oh, I think I like the second one the least, but I don't know, I think I prefer that one. The third one? Yeah. I thought you might. I like that one too. I'm curious to develop the, the profile more and play around with the nose a tad, because I'm intrigued by the idea. Thank you. I might also just do a poll. While they're all in this stage, viewers, if you would like to give me your opinion, which of these do you prefer? I know you prefer number five, but, you know, that goes without saying, I guess, but if you, have, if you do actually have any preference, let me know. Thank you. All right, folks, the deed is done. The results are in. Animal Crossing has tied with the human-like or number three, which is also what my sister suggested to me. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go with, number three. As much as I love Animal Crossing, um, <laughs> my decision is that I will flesh out the more human-like one, and then I'm also going to finish a Animal Crossing version, but I'm not gonna try to put it in the movie or anything. <laughs> so um, if you'd like to see how the Animal Crossing one turns out, Follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, or DeviantArt. Or all of them if you're feeling spicy. But you can check out the finished result there. Thank you. So once again, I'm gonna be working on this Sonic and eventually finishing out this Sonic because he's also amazing. I'm gonna save these for later. All right, folks, so here's the plan. I'm gonna do a sketch page. Uh, well, I'm gonna actually flesh this out a little more. I'll refine it, I'll color it. I'm gonna play around with, you know, what this is and all that. But another thing I wanted to bring up really quickly, uh, let me just hide these. With the animal one, uh, I did something which was, I separated the spine hair from the rest of him, which I think might help. I wanna do a version where this is like that too, because I realized it just kinda looks a little weird when it's realistic but his sort of like hair matches the rest of his skin when it's actually not the same material, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna, I'll mess around with it a little more. My Sonic is just a double Arthur meme. That's all he ever will amount to. Kinda look like Shadow's shoes, funny enough. Or this one does anyway. This one's about to. God, he looks so undeniably evil no matter what I do. He just looks, Villainous, you know, I Why do you look this way my boy guys? If you're an artist of any kind beginning Professional whatever do arthritis stretches Please do them with me right now. I'm doing them now do it. Make sure you don't freaking die From arthritis. Well, look what I've done. I think I've combined these three together. Uh, all right, well, I think the design's at a place where I can start doing uh, more poses and, you know, maybe a profile. I think I've accidentally been making Animal Crossing Sonic this entire time. So let's say, for the sake of argument, he only has one leg 
and no arms. I think it looks a lot different than this, honestly, the profile, but I like it a lot more, personally. He looks really childlike, though, I'll say. He's got, like, a lot of youthful energy, this Sonic. But apparently that's what he is in the movie anyway, so... Well, I also gave his hair a little more sass by, like, making it spike up a little bit in the front and then peel into the back. Now, uh, this is- here, I'm gonna go back to the other Sonics. That's a difference between my Sonic and these Sonics. This one particularly looks like it has porcupine quills, almost, in the sin no distinct pattern. And this one, it's very short and tufty, and it looks like his skull is actually this. And that there are little short pieces coming off of the back. Whereas here, it's more hair. Okay, well, we're gonna start with this color. You know it! Oh, it's so blue! I can hardly stand it. We'll go to this blue. Ah, oh, it's so blue. And now we're back. I'm gonna start here, start coloring this, and go from there. So blue. Oh, he's so blue! How do they get away with this stuff? I couldn't. It's just because of how saturated it is, it hurts. The old eyes. I just can't. I, it's just hard to fathom that these are actually the colors that Sonic has. And it looks fine over here, but over here it's like, what are you doing, fam? I like to begin with what we have, and then... I will edit and change as we need to. <laughs> I think we're finished here. I'm actually quite a fan of the Sonic, like going for the more of a sky blue color. I think we could even saturate it a little more than they have. And I also might move it closer to the original Sonic color. But I like, I like where their head's at. Now I'm actually just gonna peel away everything that we have because I did everything on the same layer, which isn't good. What I like to do is make separate layers, but have a clipping layer onto that layer so that it, it, it can be different, but it won't go outside. Um, wow, all right, so these guys chose this desaturated, which I, I'm okay with that. I, I think it's fine. We can improve upon it a bit. I think it should be a little more saturated. But again, panning back to regular Sonic that they have. This isn't skin. This is fur. So, like, I'm shrugging right now. You can't see me, but I'm shrugging. Meanwhile, this one does have it as skin. And it's kind of hard to look at. We're not gonna imagine that. I think also another part of this is that you need to leave a lot of it up to the imagination. So if we want to be like original, let's just bring the tan up to the eyes. We're trying to stay traditional yet a little inventive.
Do I want Sonic's crotch to be bare, really? Let me, let me finish this. No. I can answer that question right now. The answer is no. Damn you, Sonic Movie, for making me ask these questions. <laughs> I'm looking up how many nipples a hedgehog has. Five? Where's the fifth one? Where does the fifth one go? Like, this is, this is the worst thing I've ever done. I think I, I think I need to stop for the night. Hey folks, it's me. I got sick, so my voice is a little um, different. So I'm just gonna probably not be talking as much, but I'm gonna be just wrapping this up, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done today, I believe. I decided Sonic with shorts is my Sonic the Hedgehog OC. And his name is Dito, I think. I don't know. That's what, we're, that's what we call him, but we can't be sure that's his actual name. You know, I do almost agree with their decision to give him furry arms, because I, I cannot imagine a Sonic walking around with, like, human arms, which is essentially what it would look like. So I just, I didn't feel like I enjoyed his stance. I didn't think it looked very close to the uh, profile view. Not that it does look like strikingly similar at the moment, but um, it looks better than it did before, I think. Before I edited, edited it, but edited it? I don't know. I always feel like I'm making a mistake when I say that. There's no easy way to say edited it besides the way that I just said it. But I tend to make my T's sound like D's, so it's like edited it. Anyway, what was I saying? Um. I edited it, so it looks a little more like the profile. I've been working on my YouTube magic, but I, I'm still an apprentice. I haven't found a mentor yet, so it's more like my YouTube, it's not very strong yet, but I think this is my first successful go of it, you know? But I wanted to practice another spell, which is Instacolor, so. Uh, all right, everybody, hold your breath. Three, two, one. Oof, that didn't. Three, two. Oh my god, I think it worked. Whoa! It didn't do the eyes though. I guess it just like mirrored what I had. All right, well I'm gonna do the eyes and then I think I might, I might call it. Oh yeah, I also wanted to try putting this darker color like on his eyebrows and see if that helps like accentuate them. Well, he looks like an animated character. That's for sure. Yeah, I definitely don't like it on this one. It ages him up real quick. Okay. All right, folks. I'm gonna call it here. Actually, let me make it pretty for you really quick. Yeah, by that I meant move everything to the middle. So, all right. Okay, this is what this Sonic looked like at first in that sketch. It's a pretty dramatic difference. Um, I guess the, the, the gist is still the same though. Anyway, so reminder, personal Sonic, animal Sonic, Dito, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is still better. All right, so my uh, closing thoughts on this Sonic. Let me bring in the other boys. All right, did I reinvent the wheel? No. Does it look okay? Yes. Does it look good? I. That's not for me to decide. I'm too attached to it. I personally like it quite a bit. Um, like I said before, I think really the main criteria here is would you be okay with this guy snatching your soul? Personally, I would be okay. Like I like I said, I, I would I would give my soul to this guy, maybe. The profile picture one at least. So the main difference is that we've acknowledged and edited ed but frick edited. Oh my god, the nose the face is flat, opposed to trying to do... Okay, no, I picked a lane. Two options, animalistic, humanistic. This one put a humanistic mouth on an animal snout, which was ultimately looking like a human face. Whereas I did a human face with really... You know, it's pretty human, you know? It kind of, it looks like a child's face, pretty much. 
and I put a big nose on it to give the illusion of a snout without, you know, giving it a snout. And then I gave him fangs, but it is a pretty humanistic mouth. He doesn't have lips, though, unlike this one and this one, which both had lips and was part of the problem. I made the spikes, not quills. Of course, it is still pretty abstract, though, so it's kind of hard to... Um, I differentiated the spike color from the skin color. How that looks, um, I like it. I mean, like I mentioned, Sonic's a very plain creature. He doesn't have any markings, he's just kind of blue. So, when something's different, like texturally different, then you should try to make it stand out as much as possible. Almost always, we made the belly kind of heart shape. It's it matches his face. It makes him curvier. Yeah, he got bare arms too. He kind of looks like he's wearing a funky tank top. My next plan. Okay, just to review, I'm considering remastering the Sonic since I did not necessarily, I didn't entirely deliver on my promise, I don't think, because I did do a redesign of Sonic that I am pleased with, that I think is superior to both of these in the context of not looking somewhat frightening. It's not made to be in the movie or look realistic, which is the ultimate challenge, so. Um, the overarching challenge, I mean. But So, I may try to remaster this to look as realistic as possible and see how it holds up. Depending on uh, the interest level, I'll do it. And again, I'm gonna be doing an Animal Crossing version of Sonic posted to my social media, which you can find in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with a friend. It means a lot. I post every Saturday, so I will catch you next week. Thanks again. See you around.